Drift into Anxiety Alley here is Lloyd Sam. He's fouled a free kick. Kaka the foul. Quickly take it, Marcelo. Ariola back heel, pinballs all Pari, into the net! Into the net! Kofi Opari scores! DC United made it again! But is there enough time? With a little flick from Ariola, that allows the ball to get through to Opari. Right place, right time. Got himself in the box. A little fortunate with the bounce, who cares? Again, right place for Opari and just a calm finish. DC United back in this one. This is time for Bob with a head and it went off a defender, so another quarter kick. This is a good ball in from Sam. Just to top the six, Birnbaum trying to rise up. Gets out the door, who's challenging him. Toronto just a little flat here in the start. Sam, again, sending it in, and that's a four in the net. Oh, DC had it. They their first goal in a quarter all season. Kofi Obori scores it, and United leads one nothing. And the fireworks are going off because this is a wonderful goal. Rises up ever so well. Strong header. That's not an easy header from that position. Wonderful ball in from Sam. We talked. It had eyes for the back of the net, but the fingertips of Barrett to push it over. Now let's give credit where credit's due as Doyle has a brilliant ball then testing Barrett's skills and abilities to get up off the ground. And Doyle, look, as he's receiving that ball, he knows exactly what he wants to do to try to bin that one to the far post. Back post and it's 3-2. Opare scored the second goal the first time these teams met and he does it again in Jamaica tonight. I said seven or eight minutes. They got it in about 90 seconds. Well, what do you know? The set piece, and that's the first quality ball off of the cross that we've seen tonight. And look at this. Lohart driven to the perfect space, and that allows the, the, the header to redirect it, and Apate is at the back. Which is up and over. Oh my goodness. That's Rodney, the substitute. So here's Halstey. Elects to go at the short corner. Farfan went out to deliver the service onto the back post. Cordia heading it back in. Nobody there on the back post. Back in front. Opare. It's 2-0 DC United. The least likely of goal scoring candidates, but it's 2-0 for the home side. So one goal in MLS play and now followed up with a goal in CONCACAF Champions League. He just recycles his run, completely unmarked, and has Simpson. Yet another set-piece opportunity for United as the team's fatigue. Second minute of extra time. We'll play 30 at least. And two corners right up the bat here. Dangerous situations, and there's a great ball. Jared Jeffrey and a score for United. There is the defender, Kofi Opare, knocking it in just about eight yards out. Brilliant header, but he lost his marker somewhere, Paul. Yeah, he was wide open, but you know what? I look at this, and it's one minute and 54 seconds into the game, so there's a lot of time here to time change up. things around. Here it is again. Jerry Jeffrey put it right on the head of Kofi Opare. Nobody was mocking him. We, there were two guys there on three players. Urgency to his game, Adrian. Look at him. He's come in here and already three or four plays. Urgent, very assertive getting into the attack. Grew up in that city of Juarez, right on the uh, the border, Texas. Uh, went to Sacramento, 17th pick in the Super Draft this past season. Well, that's a good header and an equaliser. And it's Kofi Apare who's done it. Orlando's resistance ended, and it's a set piece that did it. And 
I go back to talking about the first half set piece delivery. This is Taylor Kemp, naturally left footed, whips it in. Now it's in a dangerous spot because now Donovan Ricketts, he has to.